here on Rescue TV with Shannon Ponton, personal trainer extraordinaire, the number one fitness uh, expert in Australia, and now on Rescue TV. Thank you for joining us. It's wonderful to be indoors today. Yeah. I'm over the rain. Over it. So let's get right down to it. Let's talk about the psychology of weight loss. I mean, you've that's something that's been really huge about the point of difference that you bring to the show and that you bring to your clients. Um, and when we were talking before, you were saying it's all up here. How do you unlock someone's kind of uh, fat mentality? The behavior in people is generally the same. And to get the most from them physically, you need to unlock them mentally. So being a personal trainer is pretty rudimentary. You write down on a piece of paper, do four sets of 10, six sets of 12, rest for 45 seconds, anyone can follow it. Okay. To be a great personal trainer, you gotta understand people what they're passionate about, what fires them up, and at the end of the day, what's gonna allow them to become self-motivated. I think that that's a really interesting thing because on The Biggest Loser and one of the, you know, I guess the excuses of weight loss is after the diet or after the program, people revert back to who they are. How do we avoid that? What are your expert tips for, you know, keeping I it? I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the maintenance phase. Yes. So people train it. really hard for eight weeks or 10 weeks or 12 weeks or whatever mm -hmm. they do and they get to this point and they're really happy. They've reached their goal weight and they look in the mirror and feel fantastic and they go, oh, I've hit my goal weight. Yeah. I can go back to my old ways now. Or, or it's a not modified. going to happen. Really? <laughs> the changes you make when you lose weight and when you get healthy, you need to maintain for the rest of your life. So talking about the transition, the mental transition to kind of, to be, to make a commitment for life to good health, what are some of the simple things, maybe two or three things that we can start doing in preparation for a lifetime of good health? Well, I think the first and most important thing is to become accountable and responsible for where you are. For so, where you are today? Right in that moment. So instead of standing up in the mirror and pulling your gut down and going, oh, there's abs down there somewhere. <laughs> if you're pulling the fat down, there's no abs there. And if you're squeezing into your size 14 jeans, which didn't quite used to fit like this, the dryer hasn't shrunk them. So It's time to get real. Those 14s haven't got any smaller. It's what's going in them that's getting bigger. People have to stop living in the past. Okay. There's no use saying, oh, I used to be a size eight or a size 10, and oh, sorry, I'm 14 now. Live in the moment. Take responsibility of where you are, and then realize you've got to make some sacrifices to get back to where you want to go. We've become a soft society, and we, people have to we harden up. We were laughing about this before. You were talking to us about, you know, the, the excuses that society allows us to make about our weight and our health. What are some of the big excuses that you love to shut down? Oh, do you think there's one that I haven't heard? It's, so it's baby weight. Like... I had, a, had an, a very unusual pregnancy. I put on 30 kilos. No, you didn't. You ate too much. <laughs> people saying, you know, oh, I can't, I can't exercise in the morning. Yes, you can. You can exercise whenever you want. People need to stop making excuses. And the answer that I have to that is harden up. Harden up. Harden up. Ladies, harden up. Let me talk to you about another thing that we were talking about, which I found really interesting. You were talking about accountability and your, you've got a web program that you've launched. This is a new product that you, you can sign up for. Um, and accountability is the key thing to success there. Can you talk us through this program that you've developed? Well, it's the way of the future. So many people have been inspired by The Biggest Loser. They and I get have. hundreds of Facebook messages every week saying, Shannon, I'd love you to be my trainer. Yeah. So now we have the ability for me to be people's personal trainer. So you sign up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. You go to shannonchallenge.com. And what you get for that is your daily workout plan tailored specifically for you. It's all done around calorie burn and heart rate. So it doesn't matter how big or how small you are, how fit or unfit, male or female, the program is going to work for you because it's specific to your calorie burn. So you get your daily workouts done. Okay. You get a daily menu plan of healthy, nutritious food that's going to keep you full. We get weekly weigh-ins, like The Biggest Loser, which keeps people accountable. That's why people fall off a diet. Say, I've been doing this and that and I haven't seen any change. Because you do get that, you know, some diets you, you can try and, you know, for a few weeks you haven't lost weight. So. You know, is there a safe range or, or is that... I know? believe the more weight you lose, sticking at 1,200 calories a day, as long as you're eating 1,200 calories of good quality food every day and training hard, the more weight you lose in a week, the better you are. You drink a lot of water, so it's not going to be fluid water. People can write it off and say, oh, I've only lost fluid. Yeah, if you're yeah, drinking yeah. water, you're not losing fluid. You're losing weight. And we know that every kilo you lose, it doesn't matter how quickly it comes off, that's a kilo further away from a heart attack. 
further away from diabetes and certain types of cancer you are. And that starts straight away. Any tips that you can give us to get off the couch and get going? Well, I think the most important thing is that being uncomfortable is not done on pro rata. So if it's three kilos yep. or 30 kilos, you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. You know yourself, if you put on a couple of kilos after a holiday or something, you come home and you're asked to go out to a certain function and you put a dress on and it's not quite the way you feel. All night at that function, you, you you're subcon fiddling with your well, pants yeah. and, and you're sucking you, your And stomach. subconsciously, it's just eating away. It might be only a little bit, but it's eating away at you. And when you introduce yourself to people, maybe you don't have the same presence that you have when you're feeling fantastic. Absolutely. Now, it doesn't matter if it's three kilos or 30 kilos, that feeling is the same. And I believe that everybody in this world has the right to feel comfortable and healthy in their skin. So they can go wherever they want and be happy and be the, the best version of themselves they can. So I guess the answer is it doesn't matter whether it's post baby weight, yeah. whether it's 30 kilos or three kilos, eat more and move less, you're gonna get fatter. Yeah. Change the way you're living your life. Move more, it doesn't matter if it's structured exercise, just get moving. Eat less and you'll start to lose weight. From there, find something you enjoy. Now exercise can be as varied as from being playing tennis, to playing bowls, to boxing, martial arts, to a recreational game of Dancing basketball. Or Dancing, fantastic. Zumba's killing us, it. Do you know what a lot of people get put off by you know, the idea of sports from school. And I think, you know, if you weren't a great athlete and in a country where, you know, we really pride ourselves on athleticism and being sporty, if you weren't any good, you kind of carry that with you. Oh, I was never good at sports. So I think it's really interesting that you say that we can try anything, any movement is good movement. I think that's one of the funniest things. And as adults, the very same people, the kids are coming home from school and going, mum, I don't really want to go to tennis today. You go, shut up, son, and go to tennis. Yeah. It doesn't matter. If you get a group of seven-year-olds and ask them who can sing, who can dance, who can paint, and who can run, I guarantee you all seven-year-olds will put their hands up. That's true. As adults, we're supposed to progress as we get older. Ask a group of adults who can dance, who can sing, who can paint. You'll be lucky if you get three people. Yeah, that's really interesting. As an adult, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. It's okay to feel uncomfortable as an adult. It's okay to feel out of your comfort zone. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. Because the more you do that, the more experience you're going to get from life and the better you're going to become, even as an adult. So just to wrap it up, let me ask you, from the experience that you've had with The Biggest Loser, from seeing the really morbidly obese people to training you know, movie stars who've probably got you know, 500 grams to lose, what are three things that people who are watching this um, video can go home and do as of today? Firstly, take responsibility for where you are. Jump on the scales, because the scales don't lie. They're not open to perception. I know everybody goes, no, no, but I don't like it, because it's just a pure number. A scale is just a number. And it's not open to perception, and it's not open to emotion. So people have to change the way that they eat. Less processed food, less starchy carbs, so things like bread, uh, white rice and potato. Yep. Higher protein, so things like meat, fish, chicken, egg and dairy. Yep and stay away from sugars. So sugars, and sugars can be sneaky. This time of year we live in a tropical country. Summer, beautiful mangoes, pineapples. You don't want to be eating those things at night because they're going to go straight to your ass. Did you hear that? <laughs> mangoes and pineapples They didn't hear that, but they, uh, I said, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it. You know it. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be tuning in and um, tell us where we can purchase some of your kits and these fantastic, th you told us the website to say it Yeah, again. they've got three great things out at the moment. The book's out. Yes, And yes, of course the book's seller. called Harden Up. Of course it is. So that's gonna give you the insight to get your head right, to get your training, to get your nutrition right, and then this finally giving the tools you need to keep call. it up. Yes, now okay. there's no excuses. <laughs> the online personal training, shannonchallenge.com. Eight weeks of personal training for 150 bucks, probably the best money you'll ever spend. Recipes, diets, nutrition, and accountability. Oh gosh, and, and third? And we've got the Express Rapid Weight Loss Kit. For people that don't like reading, and you know, they've got an aversion <laughs> to taking that much time out, it's a set of six DVDs that explains all the good living the messages principles. that you need. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. We needed, uh, you know, it's February. We need a little kick in the butt. Oh, yeah. Christmas time's so good for business. I love it.
everybody gets fattened up over Christmas. It ensures a happy time for personal trainers. It's funny because I was talking to a weight loss company and they said, we don't launch new products until the biggest loser comes on TV because everyone is suddenly focused on losing weight. You've really changed the way people look at weight loss. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure, thanks so much. Thank you.